how can someone have a child and just not be a part of their life? I know this story can relate to a lot of people, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you want to see more of her content, you can follow her above. Okay, quick story time um, of how my baby daddy ghosted me when I was pregnant, and I haven't talked to him in almost a year, and my son is one. Um, so I was dating this guy in August of 2022. Uh, he was down here because he happens to play football, or he did at the time. Um, we dated so from August all the way until February when his season was over, and he moved back to home to California. Um, I found out I was pregnant in, like, December, January-ish, told him. He wasn't super excited, I think probably because he already has two kids, you know, who would be. Um... But things were fine, I thought. Um, I told him I was pregnant. Like I said, he wasn't super excited, but he wasn't super angry either. Um, we kind of discussed what we would do, and I told him, listen, hey, I'm 30. I'm keeping it. That's just, I'm keeping him. Um, and honestly, we didn't really discuss it that much further after that. I thought he seemed to be okay with it. So February came around. He moved. I helped him move everything seems fine. Um, I start talking about the pregnancy more and then all of a sudden ghost, right? Ghost. Don't hear from him again until, so he moved in February. October was the last time I talked to him. So October of 2023, I think. Yeah. October of 2023 was the last time I've spoken to him and it is September of 2024. Um, my son was born in August. I told him my son was born. If you go to my pin TikTok, you'll see what he says. It says pretty much do your thing. So that's what I've been doing ever since. Everyone in the comments keeps saying go child support, child support, child support. It's really not that easy. I don't know where he lives. So I only knew him living here for work. He moved to California. I have his parents' address. I've served him there twice. Nothing. I guess I have to serve him in person. And that just isn't a possibility. I've texted him. If you look at my Instagram DMs to him, it's all updates of my son. People keep saying, stop updating him. Do you? I am doing me. But I also always want to put my son first. And I want my son to always know that I tried, you know? So even if it makes me look stupid or I look like I'm begging or being annoying, I'm going to beg. I'm going to be annoying. Because at the end of the day, I just want my son to know I tried. Even if my people say he's better off not in my son's life, I want my son to be able to make that decision, you know? And I want him to always be able to say like mom tried i swallow my pride pride aside i'll do what i can if it means that my son is happy so with that said my little story time everyone's like expose him expose him expose him i've kind of gone back and forth with that just because my son's mental health you know i want to put him first like i said and i don't want him to ever be embarrassed of something that i did you know or i don't want they do have the same last name. I don't want to put him out there like that. But it's kind of like everyone keeps saying my son deserves help, you know. And I'm doing all I can as a mom. I have two, almost three jobs right now. And I'm doing everything I can to make sure my son has the best life. And I think even without support from his dad, he would have the best life. Um, I have a great support system. But again, with that said, I think he does deserve child support. Like... And you can come in my comments and say what you want, but, like, it takes two. We both did what it takes to make my son, but I'm the only one doing anything. You haven't helped me at all. So with that said, I think I'm ready to expose my baby daddy. And that's messy, and it sounds messy, and I never thought I would come on the Internet and be like that because I'm not. I'm super private as I'm on here ranting about my baby daddy but in other ways like I don't post my son on Instagram yes I recently started posting him on TikTok but I don't know I just yeah so that's that I have a bum baby daddy who could help has all the means in the world to help but just chooses not to um so yeah I'm thinking about exposing him and maybe that'll help with my court case, I spent $5,000 on a retainer for a lawyer, and it's almost up, and nothing has happened because we've tried to serve him twice. His parents don't care. They know about him. I've sent his mom pictures. We were friends. Like, we got our nails done together. We went to a game together. I made her stuff, game day merch. So she knows, his whole family knows, but nobody cares, I guess. And my son is so cute, and it hurts that, like, they just don't care. So that's my bum baby daddy story. 
I love that this mom continues to reach out to the baby daddy despite everything that everyone is telling her because yes, at the end of the day, she could say that she has tried. This makes me wonder like, do they ever feel bad at some point? Probably not. I think the craziest part about all of this is that he has two other kids and are taking care of them, but not hers. Like, what did she do to you? What would you have done in this situation? 